upon initial appearances here, you might think we're digging for oil, but I don't think that's the case. I'm here with Mark Lamb from Frisbees. Hi, Mark. Hi, Don. How are you today? You're not digging for oil here, right? No, we're not. We're, in, we're installing a geothermal heating system in this home, and what they're doing right now is installing the loop portion of the geothermal heating system. Mark, if you would, explain to me how this geothermal system works. Well, how the geothermal system works is you're taking heat from the earth. Earth is at a constant temperature of 50 degrees in this area all the time. We're using a glycol solution in our loop system that we're seeing installed right now. That glycol solution absorbs that heat from the earth, takes it to our geothermal heat pump in the home, processes it, and makes more heat out of it. In the cooling cycle, it does the same thing, only in a reverse manner. It's taking the heat from your home, absorbing it through the glycol system back into the earth, and the earth takes the heat back out of your house. What are the advantages of a system like this? First and foremost, it's environmentally friendly. Second of all, it's the most efficient way to heat and cool your home in this area. Now, I know at Frisbees, you have more than just geothermal systems. What else do you install? We also install gas, forced air furnaces, electric heat pump systems, anything to do with comfort in the home we can handle. And I know in this home, you also have in-floor heat. That's correct. Can you show us that? You bet. Let's go. Okay. I've heard a lot of good things about in-floor heat. It seems to be very popular these days. Yes, Don. There's two things consumers are interested in. One is efficiency. Second is in comfort. An in-floor radiant system is going to give you the most comfort out of any heating system that there is out there. Can you explain to us how it works? Well, in this particular system, we're going to use a water solution that's going to run through the tubes you see on the floor here. It's going to go back to the geothermal where it gets its heat, and there will be a concrete mass over top of the tubes that's going to get warmed up. Now, when you have a concrete mass that's warm like that, it tends to heat the object in the person in that case rather than heating the air like a conventional system would. Okay, so this is radiant heat? This is radiant heat, much like the sun. Okay. Now, this system you said is hooked up to the geothermal system. If I don't have a geothermal system, can I still have in-floor heat? You sure can. We use water heaters, we'll use boilers, there's other forms of heat that you can also use. The geothermal, though, is the most efficient heat source, as we talked about earlier. We've seen the drilling and the system. What happens next? Next, after all the holes have been drilled, they're going to put the pipe into the hole. They're going to use a grout solution to put around the pipes, and that's going to help us transfer the energy from the earth. Then we're going to excavate the pipes into the home, and we're going to tie them to our geothermal. Once again, we're back on location at the home. Mark, if you would, talk to us about this install. Once we've completed the fabrication, our next step is to install the ductwork on our geothermal heating system. Uh, right now, Rich is installing the last piece of ductwork for our main floor zone. I would imagine homes like this are really quite elaborate in regard to the installation of the ductwork. Yes, they are. A custom home requires custom fabrication like we would do at our sheet metal shop. Well, I'm going to let you guys get finished, and I'll be back when you're done. We'll see you then. We're now back at the home. It's just about complete. I'm with Mark. Mark, what is the status of this geothermal system? Well, Don, the system is installed and fully functioning now. Can you explain to us how it works? Yes, this pump transfers our glycol solution to and from our loop field, where it brings it back to the heat pump and processes it into heating and cooling. And what does this control? This controls our in-floor radiant heat, our forced air heating and cooling upstairs, and our domestic hot water as well. Okay. This appears to be a rather complicated system. How is it for the homeowner to operate? It's very simple for the homeowner to operate. It's no more complex than any typical heating and cooling system. And again, the advantages of geothermal heat? You can expect a 40 to 60 percent energy savings annually over a conventional heating and cooling system. Okay, so your bottom line is cost, quite a cost savings. Yes, yeah, a very good investment for the homeowner.